So this is the box came today. Something I saw on the internet. Actually saw a real life picture, I'll put that in the video. Of this engine right here. It's a Warsteiner and this is the beer I normally drink at home. Really nice looking engine. And I bought a couple cars to go with it. Little extra containers. I'll put those on a flat car. And then a couple nice car sets to go with it. Looks nice. And then more big car set. Pretty cool. Take a look at that on the rails. So here's a little look at it. It has a lot of really fine detail. There's quite a few little pieces you can add on to make it look super realistic. Um, but you can see that the detail on this engine is really super good. And the fan, it's really fine detail on the top, the sides. A lot of little de really good detail on this engine. This isn't a Marklin, but it's uh, has a lot of plastic in it. Little the bumpers are plastic. Marklin. Sometimes they're metal, sometimes they're plastic. And then if you change the direction of the light, the engine, of course, the light switch. And then it has a couple of lights where you can have white on on front and back if you like. And then it has another one where it's just one light is on. It's kind of hard to see on that side of the sun. It's kind of cool. It's a nice engine. It runs really smooth. Runs quiet. It's not a very loud motor on it. get the cars out and put, have them tow some cars. So I'd say the these look a little bit like not as good as the Marklin ones but they are really nice on the the detail and the main body is plastic so they're a lot lighter. The Marklin ones are metal but just take a look at them there. So this is a real problem with these uh, Mahano cars. They derail just going around curves. They're really light. They're uh, not like the Marklin ones. The hitches keep popping off. I don't know what to say about them. I've tried putting both of the new cars in line or put a Marklin car in between them. But the uh, they keep derailing. They're just not heavy enough. They derail around corners, they derail around curves. They're very intricate. I mean, they're more like for a display model than they are for uh, running trains. So I really can't highly recommend these uh, these coaches or the not coaches but cars. They just don't run they don't run anywhere near as good as Marklin. And then just for comparison, this is all plastic. And then, if you go to a Marklin one, this is all metal. It, it runs whether it has a load on it or not. The Marklin is just far superior. And then the engine, I mean, the detail is fantastic. But like these little side rails, they're all plastic. Kind of fragile. And it has a, quite a few more little pieces you can put on. I'm not going to bother trying to put them on. Because they're just, uh, they're just probably going to fall off. And, um... That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> okay, there again, just drop those car those wagons. So here's the next lap around, and we're missing a coat. 
<laughs> one of the trailers. It's the other Maha one cooked up to the other one and it's back underneath the mountain over there. So as you can see, here's the, the hitch on the hitch. It just fell right out of the back of the other car. So it can't even pull the weight of its own manufacturer, same car. The hitches just really are inferior. Let me try again here. And time they stayed on. Really not happy with these two cars. They look good. They're extremely fragile. And as far as running characteristics, it's really kind of suck. But here's the engine. He just left the whole train behind. Seems like I gotta kind of tap the engine to get it to go. It's definitely not Marklin quality. Kind of hesitates there when it runs. I don't know what that's about. And this is a brand new engine, so I'd expect more out of a brand new engine. I mean, all of my engines work good. This is only the third time I've bought non Marklin engines, and I can tell you that each time I've been disappointed. I bought a Bravo, I sent it back. I bought a uh, Jägendorfer, I sent that back last summer, it's still not back to me. They said they are going to repair it, but I don't know. I think I've I, each time I think I see a really nice engine that I like, it's not Marklin, I'm really severely disappointed.